Okay. <clears throat> Disney patents blockchain-based movie distribution system to stop pirates. <clears throat> oh, boy. Um, as a prime content producer, Disney has a vested interest in keeping pirates at bay. <laughs> Was that intentional? I'm going to guess so. Um, the entertainment company is involved in various enforcement initiatives and a few days ago added a new anti-piracy patent to its arsenal. With a blockchain distribution system, Disney hopes to make it harder for pirates to intercept films being distributed to movie theaters. Oh, to movie theaters. Okay. Well, presumably, they, pardon me, still be able to record it off Disney Plus if they're putting it out there. Uh, Disney is one of the best-known brands in the world and the owner of an impressive collection of movies and TV shows. New and old releases earn the company a healthy stream of revenue, both in movie theaters and through its own movie streaming service, Disney+. Plus. While there is plenty of competition from other movie studios, Disney's single biggest threat appears to be piracy. Is it, though? I mean, people keep talking about piracy being a huge threat, and it's like, I keep saying, as I, and you know, I could be wrong, admittedly, I don't know what everybody out there is thinking, but I'm pretty sure that an awful lot of people who pirate shit, they, it's, it's a, the proposition there is for free take. It's like, I can get it, and it doesn't cost me anything, you know, except for, you know, high-speed internet or whatever, which we are, you know, everybody already has. Um, but it's like, they're only doing that because it's free. Like, you know, it's, it's, it, uh, I mean, a bunch of the stuff, they don't want it bad enough to go out and pay for it. You know, uh, you know, they just, they, you know, I'm, I, like I said, I could be wrong, but that's, that's what I am, am, am really kind of thinking about the, the mindset of people who pirate shit is a lot of them are pirating shit just because, I mean, some of them are doing it because they really do want it. They want it bad and it's just not fucking available any other way. Um, but I think another part of it is that some of these things that they pirate, they'll pirate just because. Just because it's there. They happen to cross it and it's like, oh, you know, sure, that's available. I'll take that, you know. But they would never go to Amazon or Walmart or wherever the fuck and pay money for it. Because it's like, eh, I kind of want to watch it maybe sometime or other if I get the chance. You know, but I, you know, it's like you have to want it bad enough to spend money on it to go and get it or whatever to put some kind, you know. And, I mean, I'm just saying, I figure a lot of things, you know, some things, yes, they absolutely, they really want to see it. And if they couldn't pirate it, they probably would pay for it because they want to see it that badly. But a bunch of the shit that they get is just kind of incidental. It's like, oh, it's there, I'll take it. You know, if it wasn't there, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't even think about it. So, you know, there's probably a bunch of shit that people download and it sits around on their hard drive for years and never get around to fucking watching it. <laughs> or reading it or listening to it or whatever the fuck. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> While there is plenty of competition, um, Disney piracy... Uh, to tackle this issue, Disney's in-house anti-piracy team works around the clock, and the company takes part in the ACE Coalition as well. I don't know what the fuck that is. The ACE Coalition. Uh, tag eight. I, I'm not going to bother. You know, you look for that yourself if you're interested. It's I'm sure obvious it's some sort of anti-piracy thing. <clears throat> Disney's blockchain anti-piracy patent. Um, through these anti-piracy efforts, Disney has helped to take down dozens of piracy sites and services. However, the media giant is also trying to be more proactive. A newly awarded patent proposes a blockchain-based media distribution system that aims to prevent early piracy leaks. Okay. Um, I wasn't aware of there being early piracy leaks apart from people going and filming things with a camera in the fucking movie theater, you know, which if you've ever seen one of those, you know that the, uh, 
the quality of that is absolute shit. So it's like, eh, might as well wait for the DVD or, or whatever. Um, through these anti-piracy... Uh, 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 the patented question titled Blockchain Configuration for Secure Content Delivery that doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, focuses on the distribution of uh, content to movie theaters. This is a vulnerable process where pirates with the right connections can make copies during or after delivery. Uh, I guess, does that mean that they do, they deliver shit? I mean, I, I don't pay attention to such things. I haven't, they don't, they don't send like film to theaters anymore. It's all digital, is it? You know, what are they just email? Yeah, it's just, hey, here, FTP, you know, we're FTPing you a file. Um, I don't know. I, 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 like I said, I don't, uh, I don't keep track of that shit. Um, I guess it makes more sense to, to do it all digitally now instead of being physical film. <sighs> oh, shit. Mm. There are already several security mechanisms in place to prevent leaks from happening. Theaters have to adhere to strict rules, for example, and movies are all watermarked. Nevertheless, Disney believes that this isn't sufficient to stop pirates. Well, nothing is ever sufficient to stop pirates. Pirates are apparently very, uh, very enterprising, innovative people, even though they're, you know, they're not making any money off of it. At least I assume they're not. I mean, I don't know how they would. Um, such security mechanisms are often reactive rather than preventative. For example, watermarking configurations. Insert a watermark into content to track piracy after the piracy has already occurred. Uh, as a result, current configurations do not adequately prevent piracy, the company explains. Verifying rights. Disney argues that by implementing a secure blockchain-based system, the distribution process can be more tightly controlled. Among other things, it will make it impossible for a movie to be played before it arrives at the intended location. In contrast with previous configurations, the blockchain... <sighs> configuration verifies that the content is received at the intended destination prior to allowing playback of the content at that destination, the patent reads. Okay. Uh, if you're into flowcharts, there you go, there's a flowchart. Uh, the system can also be configured with other anti-piracy features. For example, it can track the number of times a movie is played to prevent bad actors from showing it more often than they should. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. To... to me, this is just like the government being, you know, a problem. It's like the more the more you try to control everything, the you know, the more you're just gonna piss people off. Um, further, the blockchain. I mean, there's always a way around things. That I mean, I just j just as a you know, just as a for fucking instance. Um, way way back when, it's like you know, compared to many people at this point, I'm an old man, I suppose. Um, I don't really consider myself quite that old yet, but you know. I've been on the internet since, uh, what was it? Um, well, at home since 96, I guess. Uh, we had dial-up back then. Anyway, but back in the early days, I remember coming across some website or other, and it had a picture on it, you know, JPEG or whatever, that I, I wanted. You know, I wanted to just save that picture, and I tried... Uh, saving it through the, you know, Netscape or whatever the, you know, browser was. And it had JavaScript, I guess, or something or other that uh, had disabled your ability to right-click so that you couldn't, you know, say, save image as. And back then they didn't have helpful plugins and shit that could turn off, you know, scripts and, and, and things. So it was just disabled and you couldn't do anything about it. And I was like, okay, you fucking bastard. Guess what? You know, print screen. <laughs> <laughs> I went into, you know, to Windows Paint and just, you know, paste, save, you know, 
you know, crop it or whatever and then save it. It's like, I got it. I got, you didn't stop me, motherfucker. You just made it more complicated. You know, you just made it a little bit more difficult for me. But there's always a fucking way around it. Now, it reminds me of some news story. Um, some uh, The dickhead curator of, what, the National Art Museum or something like that on NBC Nightly News or something, you know, lecturing people and saying, the Internet is not a universal free zone. You know, people need to understand that and not save our high-quality scans of paintings to use as their desktop background. And it's like, bitch, what did you think they were going to do? You know, I mean, come on, give me a fucking break. It's like, of course they were going to do that. Uh, you know, st- ah, God, stop being such assholes. If, you can sh- if you're going to show something to people, guess what? They can get it. One way or a fucking another. If you're going to show it to them, they can fucking get a hold of it. If you don't like it, then don't show it to them, you know? That's the solution right there. Just keep it to yourself <laughs> and you'll never have to worry. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> uh, further, the blockchain configuration has an automated auditing mechanism that tracks playback of the content at the destination to ensure the quantity of playbacks is accurately recorded. Therefore, piracy by the intended recipient in the form of a greater quantity of actual playbacks than reported playbacks is prevented. Ugh, whatever. Um, it starts to sound like, you know, like, well, I mean, look. I don't know that this ever happened or happens, oh, pardon me, or whatever. But I can totally believe that back in the day, You got some guy who, you know, happens to run his own theater in a small town, and he decides to invite a few of his friends over for a private screening of some movie that came out. You know, it's like, yeah, you know, just for us, just for us, just for, uh, you know, we'll get some beers up in here, and we will just, you know, watch it in this one auditorium and have a, you know, have a fun time tonight. And... I guess from Disney's perspective, if it's one of their films, their attitude is on that sort of thing is, well, you're pirating it because you're not reporting that you, you know, you're not selling tickets for that private screening or whatever. And so you're, you know, you're cheating us out of, you know, however many, <laughs> however many dollars that would be of, of you know, of, of the person who owns the theater and like four of his friends or something. It's like, is it really that big of a deal? You fuckers, you greedy bastards, you know, but that's the sort of thing that back, decades ago I'm not sure even back then you know all of the corporations would have necessarily had a problem with it you know it was it like once well it's it, it's 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 a I don't what you call it uh it's a question of the of of world views being different I guess or something it's just just the way people think about shit has changed you know Part of it, I guess, is greed, but it's not only that. It's just, I mean, it's just it's legalism. It's legalism, and and it's it's ruined everything. You know, it's like, f- uh, you know, for instance, once upon a time when you bought software, whether it was a copy of Windows or a copy of WordPerfect or whatever the fuck it was, you owned that. That was your copy. It, you weren't purchasing a license for a piece of software, you were purchasing a copy of the piece of software and your copy was yours. And nobody ever complained about you installing on multiple systems. You could install it on as many goddamn computers as you wanted. And now it's all about, oh, well, you don't actually, you don't own the software. You're just, you know, not even a copy of it. All you're, you know, <laughs> all you're doing is purchasing a license and increasingly they want you to purchase like a fucking subscription to it you know instead of instead of a one time purchase they want m- continual money from you for using their software which is more absurd than ever when you consider that more and more there are free alternatives like you don't have to purchase Microsoft Office with its god awful fucking ribbon interface you can just download open office or you know or libreoffice or whatever for free and it works just as good, perhaps better in some cases. Certainly it's more efficient because it doesn't have that fucking ribbon interface, which is the the most god-awful fucking thing ever invented. The person who who, who created that deserves to be shit at and hit. You know, I, I 
I, I can't understand why they not only got away with it, you know, like doing it once it became a thing. Microsoft was like, oh, this is brilliant. We love this. We're going to force everyone to have this interface on every fucking thing that we make. It's like, what is wrong with you? I mean, it's hard to design a, a, a you know, a less efficient interface for <laughs> for your user base. I mean, holy shit. <sighs> anyway, um, but like I said, the, you know, the attitudes towards everything has just changed for the worse. You know, this idea that, oh, no, 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 we're, you know, we're so concerned about our rights. And it's like, you're not concerned enough about your rights to stop China from pirating you, you know, wholesale. But you, you care about a few individuals watching a movie, you know, here in the West someplace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Clown world. Clown world. That's what it is. Um, other playback environments. While Disney regularly refers to movie theaters and projectors, it specifically states that the patent also applies to other playback environments. For example, when Disney content is sent to other streaming providers, which will need the proper credentials to play the content. There are several possible practical implementations, but whether Disney has concrete plans to use these in the real world is unknown. That said, it's certainly intriguing to see that the company is seriously considering the blockchain. It is worth noting that this anti-piracy system is focused on the content distribution and delivery process. This will, in theory, help to prevent pre-release leaks. However, it won't stop pirates from ripping movies and TV shows directly from Disney+, Plus, as I suspected. Uh, Disney is not the only media company that has an interest in blockchain technology. Earlier this year, Dish Network secured a patent for a system that online services can use to check if an uploader has the proper rights to share something. Um, that's all. That's all such horseshit. My prediction is that the more that you try, okay. This, I, I don't know for certain, but I suspect that this is going to wind up being not unlike anti-piracy uh, measures that were taken in the past. I don't know if anybody remembers, but uh, many years ago, um, uh, Sony, I don't even remember what they did because I, I didn't buy any of their uh, music CDs or whatever at the time and certainly didn't afterwards. <laughs> uh but they basically they were putting like spyware and shit on people's computers that that was loaded onto like their music CDs or whatever and the you know it was like it was all in the name of well we're protecting our rights you know uh and if you're interested they've got the PDF there anyway uh but yeah it's like they were they were protecting their rights you know, with and that was like the first generation, I guess, of digital rights management shit. And of course, in reality, the only people that it ever inconvenienced were people who legally purchased their CDs, because anybody who just downloaded off the internet, whoever ripped it, the pirates or whatever, who got a hold of it, they took that shit off of there and gave everybody a clean version. So. At that point, it's like, okay, well, people are being inconvenienced by your piracy prevention system that doesn't actually prevent the pirates from pirating it. So, because your official version is inconveniencing people, they're actually incentivized to go online and get a copy from the pirates who have helpfully removed your bullshit. So you, the companies that do shit like that are not going to get any sympathy from me or anybody else, I don't suspect. Um, and also, what was it? Um, there was some story, again, it was many years ago. Um, I think it was before Blu-rays came out. It was, you know, when they're still doing DVDs, it, you know, was the, was the best home media uh, version available or whatever. And uh, there was some sort of piracy protection system that... Um, was it, I can't remember the name of the company, but it was, you know, some company in California, um, you know, had, 
had worked for years and the the big studios or whatever had paid the millions of dollars to develop uh, a piracy prevention uh, system that could be used on DVDs. And like two weeks after they started putting out DVDs uh, that had this you know hideously expensive thing that they'd worked so long to, to make um, on it, the pirates had figured out how to crack it and were once again pirating things. So it's like, you're not going to win. You're not, you know, to, you know, to long term, sorry, Disney, whoever else, it's like your best bet, you know, this is free advice, could be worth billions to you, but you won't listen to me. Um, but your best bet, entertainment industry, would actually be to work with the customers and not against them. It would be to maximize the convenience and minimize the cost of your products. If you do that and you make it much more uh, as attractive as possible to actually give you money in exchange for your product, then you'll find that tons of people will be willing to do it. <laughs> but you keep on trying to fuck everybody over and you're going to find that more and more people will be like, you know what? I think I'm going to uh, get me a VPN and start pirating shit. <laughs> and, and who can blame them? Who can fucking blame them once they do that? Because, you know, because you've, you know, it's like the pirates are not inconveniencing them. The pirates are giving them a clean copy of something with no spyware on it. You're infecting, you know, your own product with spyware or whatever. You're, you know, you're making it, you know, less convenient. You're making it more restrictive uh, than ever. You want to, you know, figure out some way. You know, presumably the ultimate purpose of all this is basically just to maximize their profits. They want to f squeeze every last penny they can out of people. And it's like, some people will put up with that for a while, but eventually they're going to be like, you know what, why don't I just, you know, like, instead of letting the cow stomp me to fucking death, why don't I just get the milk for free? Because this guy over here in, you know, in the trench coat, he's willing to give me the milk for free. <laughs> like... Again, not advocating that people do that, but I am saying that when they do, you shouldn't be fucking surprised. Ugh. All right. Uh, until the next one.